All right, I'm passing out today's assignment. Today, we're going over chapter 6. But I'm going to let y'all teach the class today. These are some directions. You're also getting a packet on the smart board. <coughs> I'm going to go over the directions for you over the smart board, okay? Today, I ask each of y'all to participate. Put on your thinking hats. Try your best. At each station, you will see that there are some pieces of colored paper. We're going to use those pieces of colored paper today to present this information that I'm passing out to you now. Each packet has a number on it. That number will be your group. So, after I pass all these out, I expect all of y'all to get in your groups. Where the purple paper is, we're going to call that group two. Red paper will be group one, the yellow paper will be group four, and the brown paper will be group three. If you do not have a packet or instructions, please raise your hand so I can find you some. Everybody good? All right, let's break into our groups and go over these groups.
Time is up on the reading. I'm going to give you eight minutes. I want you to work with your group. Brainstorm on the colored paper. Do a cluster graphic organizer for your section. Okay? Use the blank ones as a template so you'll know how to draw them out. Why do we have two? Why do we have two? I gave you two pieces of paper in case you mess up on one. Okay? Let's go. You only have about eight minutes to work on this. Kashandra. Y'all can start brainstorming. BJ, come up with some good ideas. Let's go. So at this time, we're going to let group one go first, group two will go second, group three will go third, group four last. Now, y'all listen up. You have blank graphic organizers in your packets there. You need to take one out. You need to write section 6.1, okay? Follow along and take notes. Also, while you're taking notes, if you have any questions, write them on that graphic organizer. That way, the presenter and the group can answer any questions you may have. Any questions thus far? Okay, group one. Group one is Madeline, Taylor, and Maria. I'm gonna let y'all get up and do your presentation. Tell us all about section 6.1, ionic bonds. Ionic bonds, Okay. No, no, it cannot because it's got to be the same. Kind. No. 
All right, what does uh, Madeline have on the graphic organizer? Does she have anything about ionic bonds? Is it between metals and non-metals, or non-metals and non-metals? What is an ionic metals bond? And <laughs> Naming compounds and writing formulas. We're going to start off with a cation, which is the name of a metal without change. And mono di tetra penta hexa hepta octa nana deca are prefixes and suffixes that go after things that have more than one um, electron that they pick up. Um, an anion is part of a nonmetal with a suffix i. A compound made of only two elements is a binary compound. Bi meaning two. Many transition metals form make many transition metals form more than one type of ion. Transition metals, middle of periodic table. So that's about then, most polyatomic ions have the suffix eight, like sulfate or oxate. Um, poly means a many. So that's our presentation on many compounds and writing formulas. Naming compounds and writing formulas. Jackie is coming around with the graphic organizer. Hope y'all were able to take notes. Metallic bonds. All alloys do provide the amount of each element used to create the alloy. An alloy is a mixture of two or more elements, and each one metal alloy has the characteristic properties of metal. A metallic bond is the attraction between a metal K ion and the sh shared electron that surrounds it. Malleability, the ability to be harmed and not shattered. Conduct electric current, the free flow of shared balanced electrons. Malleability, metal ions, their position, shift their positions, the metal does not shatter. Ions are held together by the metallic bond between the ions and electrons. Metallic bonds. Any questions on metallic bonds? BJ's coming around with their graphic organizer. All about metallic bonds. You do not have to write sentences when you do these graphic organizers. They are mostly just for notes. So whatever makes sense to you, write that. Okay, if you can just key in on one word, then just use one word. If you can just key, on, key in on a short statement, use that. Okay? Any questions about metallic bonds? Any questions over group one? Group one. Y'all did ionic bonds. Does anybody have any questions over the ionic bonds that group one did? Everyone took plenty of notes on that one? Yes, sir. Okay, group two. Y'all did covalent bonds. Anybody have any questions for group two about covalent bonds? Everyone understood covalent bonding? And we just heard from group three, writing chemical formulas and naming compounds. Any questions over that? None. And group four, metallic bonds. Everybody got a few notes about that? Yes, sir. All right. Any questions thus far? Okay, well, using your notes, I'm going to let you take a little short, quick, five or six question quiz over all this, and you can turn it in as soon as you're done, and then we will open our books and go over the entire chapter using your notes and mine. All right?